I offer my heartfelt apologies for my participation in something from 52 years ago that I find deeply regrettable. Amid calls for her resignation, Alabama Governor Kay Ivey said she's not going anywhere, adding Alabama is a far cry from the segregationist hotbed it was in the 1960s. While we have come a long way, we still have a long way to go. In a 1967 interview with the Auburn student radio station, Ivy and her then fiance, Ben LaRavia, revealed they participated in a comedy sketch in which Ivy wore blackface. She had on a, a pair of blue coveralls and she had put some black paint all over her face. It did uh, require a lot of physical acting and uh, such as crawling around on the floor looking for cigar butts and things like this. Would you like to defend yourself from this low position that he's <laughs> placed you in now? Well, that was just my role for the evening. Ivy's apology was not enough for Alabama Democratic Congresswoman Terry Sewell, who tweeted, her words of apology ring hollow if not met with real action to bridge the racial divide. Ivy finds herself in a similar position to several other white politicians who have admitted to wearing blackface when they were younger including Virginia Democratic Governor me. Ralph Northam. You didn't know the history, know that it was offensive before? I think we're all on a, a learning curve, and certainly, Ms. King, I am not the same person now at age 59 that I was uh, back in my early 20s. Northam ignored calls from prominent fellow Democrats to resign, and his approval ratings have recently improved. In Alabama, Ivy's fellow Republicans have stood by her. If Northam's situation is any indication, Ivy appears well-positioned, barring new revelations, to ride this out. Major Garrett, CBS News, Washington.